Now what I've done here is in the 3D canvas software I've just taken some straight on side views and some uh, end views and made a screen grab of that just by pressing print screen. I didn't use the photo tool in 3D canvas because it'll uh, not give us the outlines that we like, it only does the isometric view. And then I'm just making a texture over this in a, in a paint shop. So you can, you can do this however you like. The texture I used is a 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels and it's about a good size to start with. So I'm just going along and as I colour the pieces in, um, just cutting them out separately and they're going to be parts that will be textured onto those panels and you only need one side. And this is not a tutorial about texturing, it's just, uh, we're just doing this just to get the locomotive exported. I'd suggest looking at a better tutorial if you want to learn how to texture. You might notice the uh, little square colour boxes I have there, and I, what I do is, and what most texturers will do, is make little boxes of each colour they use in the texture and that way you can use that to flood fill areas that are hard to get to and uh, you can also record all the colours you used. You can see I'm slowly building up a collection of individual textures that I can use in individual panels and what we need is a front of the cab, side of the cab, side of the body and then some general grey metal colour for around the bogies and the wheels and that's that's as simple as we're going to uh, keep it for this model. You can uh, make obviously make much more complex textures but as I said this isn't about texturing it's about building a model and exporting it. What I'm doing is just copying the front of the cab and the side of the cab and then just texturing them how I want the inside of the cab to look Now we're going to add a mask, go to add new layer, new mask from image and then click OK for the default and what we end up with is an overlay mask over the original drawing. When you're colouring in a mask, black will be completely see-through for a transparency layer mask that is and white will be completely opaque and you won't be able to see through it at all and we want to make the windows black and when you see when we fill them they become white which means they'll be see-through and you can see the checker in the background and that means any any time you can see a checkerboard that means you'll be able to see uh, that much of it in the, in the uh, game and so I'm going around with white now and filling in any areas that I don't want to be transparent And when you're happy with the mask, you need to save that alpha channel as a separate file or separate part of the file we're working on. And that's just under the layers menu. And it'll be called mask01 and it's with the texture we're working on. And then you just save that. And then when we save the file as a target file, the alpha information will be retained. That's the mask itself. The file format will be a TrueVision Targa file and that's an extension of TGA and we're going to just save it as that. Make sure that you haven't flattened the layers down because you want the mask to be a separate element and just the uh, Targa format allows you to save the mask with it as uh, two separate parts. Now back in 3D Canvas we go to the, the uh, second tab from the left and click the open folder button and click on the texture you just saved, the TGA file and it'll be loaded up and you'll notice if you click on the translucency map our, our uh, mask is in there automatically and that'll mean 
we can use that texture and not worry about separately applying transparency zones or any, any weird stuff. We just have to apply the texture and the uh, information is retained within it. What I have with this model is uh, a texture that I've grabbed from the grey colour and I've made sure I've textured every single part by selecting with the just the normal selecting tool and then apply texture from the operations menu, apply materials button and um, that means that if I forget to texture an area or there's some uh, face that didn't quite get touched with the texturing brush um, it'll work in the game and it'll export properly and if you don't notice it it doesn't matter but it means this way we'll, we have covered every texture and there is a uh, plug-in that will texture uh, automatically uh, texture untextured faces and I'm just going around now and selecting different faces and, and complete objects and making sure that everything that's supposed to be green will be coated in green completely and using the uh, crop box to select swatches of colour to use and it's just a matter of going around here I'm selecting the side of the the uh, nose or the front of the nose sorry and that's with the uh, face point selection tool and then clicking on the apply materials button on the op operations menu now the front of the cab with the see-through windows select that face then click the button and the texture is applied and you'll notice the windows are see-through they're not completely see-through because I used a blue color in the paint program to make them clearer use a clearer color just doing the sides same same technique a matter of dragging a selection box around the portion you wish to use and I had did I had done this at the start but I realized I wanted to, to drop a complete texture over that whole section the whole body itself on, on top and sides so I redid the sides texture inside the uh, cab I'm going to right click on the the outer cab and just deselect its visible part and then we can click around in the wall and apply the texture for the with the windows in it and the sides and until it's completely textured on the inside and those those uh, textures with the transparencies in it